we're going to take it to the Greek island Mykonos. That's right. Taking a cruise here, this is what you're going to see when you get off the ship. There's a ton of white and blue houses everywhere. Once you're off the ship, you have a bunch of maps that you can find out where you're at or where you want to go. This was where I caught up with my tour guide, but I couldn't understand a word she said. My voice. And forget the whisper. The point is to listen to me. Except for where the part she said, listen to me. So for Mike and O's, you are going to need your walking shoes and they better be good. Um, it's a lot of cobblestone, uneven ground. You will be walking quite a ways to get to the water taxis. And if you have little children, make sure that you have a hang on to their hand because you're walking right next to the water line. You're also going to pass a ton of really great restaurants. So if you're not hungry, walking through, you will be by the time you get halfway through because of the smell. The Greek food has such a great smell to it. Our tour guide kind of took us in and out of buildings. So we went down alleys and then we come out to see the, the water right here. And then we'd go back up through another alley and then come back down and see the water again. Here's Teresa. I was wondering about the bathroom thing. Mm -hmm. So this is the boardwalk. It's probably, it's a, there's our ship over there, so. We've walked all along here. There's no rail, so watch your kids if you're ever in the area. A lot of restaurants and souvenir shops and jewelry places. And there's also cars that run through here too, so you really gotta be careful. All right, stay tuned. I really like that white dress over there. I have to buy me one of those. That's exactly what I mean. You get run over if you don't watch it. <laughs> and we're just about over to the water taxi to take us over to Delos Island. Here's the crazy boat ride. I gotta tell you, after that boat ride, I don't know if I ever wanna hop on a ferry boat again. That was the craziest thing I've ever experienced being out in a in a in those rough seas in the small boat. But I was very happy to step foot back in Mykonos after that crazy ride. So we're gonna take you through the town a little bit. Um, you're gonna notice that all of the buildings are white. That's because it gets so hot there, it kind of holds the heat out of the buildings, so it keeps it cooler on the inside.
here are dozens of small churches scattered around Mykonos. There is no white, of course, with small, colorful domes. The most iconic of all is the Panagia Paparatoni, dating back to the 1400s. The church has an asymmetrical shape. It's due to its actually being five tiny churches squeezed together, four below and one above. At the center of the church is Agios Ephenthinos, surrounded by the churches of Anastasia, the first to be built in the late 1300s. The Mykonos is a Greek island, part of the Cyclades, and it lies between Tinos, Syros, Paros, and Naxos. The island has an area of 85.5 square kilometers, and it rises to an elevation of 341 meters, or 1,119 feet. There are 10,701 uh, souls on the island, um, in the 2021 census. Um, most of them do live in the largest town, Mykonos, and that is on the west coast. Mykonos is also known as Torah, which means town in Greek, and it is also nicknamed the Island of the Winds due to the very strong winds that usually blow on the island. Mykonos is also known for its vibrant nightlife. As you can tell by walking through some of these very narrow passageways, it is very crowded. There are a lot of people most of the time. Kaka! If you go by the Alchemy Bar, the bartender does it too now. I taught him last night. <laughs> right now we're entering what is called Little Venice. It is leaning right over the water. It's a cluster of arcaded Venetian houses and it hides numerous bars, boutiques, and clubs. What I didn't care for is in order to get from one side to the other, you have to walk through all of the people sitting there eating. Situated in Agia Kairaki Square, also the location of the public library, just a few meters inland, is a comparatively large church. Its tall white walls overshadow the little shops and clubs that line the charming square. The church holds regular services throughout the year. The Mykonos windmills are a defining feature of the Mekonian landscape. There are many dotted around the island, but most are concentrated in the main town of Pora. The famous Cato Meli in Cora stands in a row on a hill overlooking the seas to harness the strong northern winds. Capped with wood and straw, the windmills were built by the Venetians in the 16th century to mill flour and remained in use until the 20th century. Many have been refurbished and restored to serve as homes to locals and vaults to numerous Myconian heritage documents. Rolling Stones owns this apartment right here. This gentleman right here, that gentleman. I get lost, don't worry, I'll scream. I have no problem with we'll lost together. This is the most expensive street in the town of Mokonos. <laughs> the 
shopping in Mykonos is excellent. For art, check out Marble Janus Street, Greek designers line Mantegliani, while Little Venice is great for casual fashion, jewelry, and souvenirs. Hora's other delights include appealing an open-air cinema and monitoring a quirky art galleries such as Rarity Gallery and Art and Soul. As we walk along this beautiful boardwalk with the multi-level blue colors in the ocean and we see our ship in the background, um, we find a place that has authentic Greek food. We had an amazing Capri salad and what would be a Greek lunch without shish kebab. And now it's time to learn a little bit of Greek dancing. I hope you enjoyed this video as we had some great fun in Mykonos, Greece. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my videos. And remember, it's up to you to make it fun and make it yours. We'll see you the next time.